Hey, what is up here, Rose, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Go. Today's episode, easily the best episode ever. The amount of Pokemon I caught, evolved, hatched, such a fantastic time. So for the most part, I went to London, and the reason I went to London is one of my favorite clothing stores, Insert Coin, had a partnership with Pokemon, made a pop-up store in London, selling exclusive Pokemon gear before it goes on the online store, and I went there to buy some, and here's what it looks like. So that's what it looked like, had an absolutely fantastic time, spent way too much money, but I got some awesome clothes in return, so I cannot complain. I had Pokemon Go Plus then, I just thought, man, I want to steal that to use it right now. But when I was in London, I've been told there is like a Charmander nest, a Bulbasaur nest there. So I thought, hey, let's go to one of these nests, and on the way to the Bulbasaur nest, not even fully there, find a Bulbasaur, which was fantastic. Now I tried to get my Venusaur, but unfortunately I didn't have much battery left playing this game because I was using uh, Google Maps to get around London, because obviously I don't know my way that well, and um, so I couldn't stay the whole day. I think we stayed here about three or four hours, and I caught so many Bulbasaurs, so many it was absolutely ridiculous. But you'll see in a second that there were so many Pokestops uh, just around there, so many lures down, caught so many Pokemon. It was Kyoto Park, and this is what it looks like. Such a gorgeous looking park and all these lure modules and something I have to show you guys was there was a squirrel. This squirrel did not want to run away from me. I got really, really close and I thought, hey, if I can get this close, I'm going to take a video of it because it looks super awesome. So check out this squirrel. He didn't even care. He was just chilling, just eating his little like nut or whatever. And I was just like, whoa, what's so close? We're going to hatch our first egg though, which is a magic up. And last episode, I did say I was saving some eggs, and I've got seven 5k eggs. I, I'm going to hatch this episode as well, and as soon as we uh, capture that uh, magic up, another Bulbasaur spawns. Like, if you want a Venusaur, 100%, this is the place to go, because there were so many Venusaurs, well, sorry, so many Bulbasaurs, so many Pokestops, so many lure modules. It was absolutely fantastic. The amount of Pokemon I caught was ridiculous. Didn't get anything too great, but the XP-wise was was just good. I almost got level 24 from being like just over 23, which is great. So after um, I check my eggs, gonna go ahead and capture my final Bulbasaur before we can get an Ivysaur. Really wish I could have got a Venusaur. I'm gonna go back to this park at some point, as well as another park where they have Charmanders. I always thought to myself, I wanna try and get a Charizard first out of the three starters, because obviously when I started the game, I got a Charmander. And then where I live, there's been a lot of squirrels. I thought, hey, I'll probably get a Blastoise first. And now going to this park, I am really far ahead in getting a uh, Venusaur. It's pretty close now. And the fact that since the update, my egg hatches have been so much better. Like all my 2k eggs have pretty much been Bulbasaur's. I've got like, from having no starters at all, within a week I've had like six Bulbasaur's in, in 2k eggs. And that was absolutely ridiculous. But... I'm going to evolve the Bulbasaur I caught from, um, well sorry, I hatched from an egg because it's a really high CP. going to use that double XP egg just to get a little bit more XP because also our 5k eggs are near hatching. So uh, let's evolve this Bulbasaur and see what we get. So there's our Ivysaur looking pretty nice. Like just, ah, oh, the graphics wise looks really good. But let's see it's CP. Gotta add it to the Pokedex first because this is my first Ivysaur. Cannot wait to get that Venusaur. And that's 909 CP Ivysaur with a bit of room for improvement. I think that is a pretty decent Ivysaur. Pretty decent. I think right now I have about 30 candy towards a Venusaur. And that's this is going to be the Ivysaur I evolve into a Venusaur because that is uh, very, very good. Liking that, um, that Ivysaur. But this is before the update with the appraisal because I think that update happened literally a day after I visited London. And just gonna get these poker stops, gonna get all them pokeballs and potions. They're gonna stock up because I was uh, really low. But before we hatch a load of eggs, I found a Seedra. Sorry, a horsey. And why is this horsey imp uh, important? Because this is the last horsey we need 
to get a Seedra. Now one reason I love this episode of Pokemon Go today is because I finally, finally get that last Pokemon I need because I have so many Pokemon, I still do have so many Pokemon, that I need one more of to evolve. And with that Horsey caught, we can get a Seedra. Now this Horsey CP is, um, it's really, really bad. 343, it's, it's really awful. But we're all about completing the Pokedex right now. So we're going to evolve this really terrible Horsey and get that Seedra. Seedra looks so cool. Gotta start working on that uh, Kingdra now for when Generation 2 comes out. Gotta start saving all that horsey candy. Gonna add that Seedra to the Pokedex. I get so many Pokemon added to the Pokedex this episode. It's so good. 772 Seedra. Not great. Not great at all. But it will have to do for now. It will have to do. So next up, we're gonna be hatching our seven 5km eggs. Now there's a lot of Pokemon I actually want out of these 5km eggs. Got seven of them. Seven goes. Double XP as well. Gonna get a lot of XP. Hopefully, we can get a few Pokemon I need. Start off with a Krabby. Do not need a Krabby. I thought. Okay, okay. This is, this is okay. We'll get we'll get the worst ones out of the way first, and then we'll hatch the uh, the better ones after. So our second egg. Can we get like a Nidoran? Nope. We get a Star You. I was thinking. Okay, no, it's still fine. It's still fine. Five more eggs. Like I'm so close to a Nidoking. King. So close to like a Dotrio, there's so many Pokemon I need, like an Ekans can get an Arbok, Cubo can get a Marowak, so many Pokemon I need. And we're going to get a Coffin, which is good because now we can get a Weezing, get our first Weezing. I was like, okay, yes, that's, that's pretty good, pretty good. One Pokemon down out of the seven that I can actually need. So, four more eggs. We get an Abra, which is really good because I still need an Alakazam. Got a pretty terrible Kadabra, but I'm going to be using that to evolve into my Alakazam because I did not wait and get a high CP uh, Abra. I just thought, let's just go for the Pokedex like we're doing. And next egg, come on. Got a Poliwag. Poliwag, uh, I have too many Poliwags now. Like, it's so common. I've got over 100 candy again. I can get a Poliwrath if I wanted to for a second time. I'm saving it. My candy for a Politoed when Generation 2 comes out. So the moment Generation 2 gets released, getting that Politoed, which I'm pretty happy about. Our next egg is going to be a Bellsprout. I was so happy about this because I thought we had enough for a Victory Bell, but we're 10 candy off. Oh, so close. So close to a Victory Bell, but that was a pretty good egg. Pretty darn good egg. So our next one. Going to be a Cubone. Which is awesome. I thought as well this is the last Cubone I needed, but we need seven more candy for this Cubone. But luckily I know where some Cubones spawn, so I can get a Marowak later on. So I was happy about that. I thought, okay, let's just go there, catch two Cubones. Done. Got a Marowak. And then that was uh, all the eggs hatched. Got one 5k left and one 10k. You can see all these Pokemon I've caught so far, like just over the hunt. I've got them Gastlies. Like this uh, nest here, it wasn't just for Bulbasaur. There were so many Gastlies, so many Magikarps. Getting so close to a Gyarados as well, which we might get this episode. If we do, it won't be the best uh, best Gyarados, but let's see the CP of this Weezing, because that's a pretty high CP uh, coffin. Hey, got another new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. You can see why I thought today was such a great episode. Just wish I had more battery, because I used most of it. Like, I had 100% left, and then I had to use Google Maps. Drain a lot of battery, put my power charger in, uh, charger mine and my girlfriend's phone, and she was using the Thunderbolt side, so she got most of the battery, and then I was left with 15%, so I sit down in like a little cafe for a little bit, just to charge up, but weren't that too long, so it was closing. There's another Magic Cup, gonna catch this, and you'll see how much candy I need to actually get a uh, Gyarados. I think my high CP Magic Cup was a 148 Magic Cup, but when I came to this park, I found a 154 Magic Cup, which will, at the moment is gonna be the Magic Cup I evolve, because it's the highest one I've seen. But got that magic cup, and we need 18 more candy. Keep in mind, I've caught like 10 magic cup here, so I can transfer them, get 10 more candy, which is great. So, <laughs> really, really good, uh, good magic cup hunting here. But off screen, I caught a lot more magic cups because, like, right now, this is nighttime. I got back home on the way home, I caught a few magic cups off screen, 
and it's a it's the time. It's time, guys. We are finally going to evolve our magic up, our one five four magic up. Now, I was thinking I kind of want to wait, get a higher CP magic up, but like I said, I just want I want to complete the Pokedex. That's my first main goal for this game. I want to try and get all the Pokemon except for obviously Mewtwo, Mew, the Free Birds, and Ditto. I think Ditto's not out yet before Generation Two comes out. So that is my goal, and we have a Gyarados. And I thought, just please be a, a kind of decent CP. I don't mind if you like, you're like you under 2,000. Just be above 1,500. That was my goal. And we got a 1,703 Gyarados. Not the best moveset, Bite and Dragon Pulse. But I'm, I'm still happy with it. I mean, I've got a Gyarados. It's not a bad Pokemon. I mean, yes, there are better Gyaradoses. But it will do. It will do. So next day, we actually went to the Space Center in Leicester. I wasn't planning to play Pokemon Go. But when we were waiting in line, I opened up my uh, my Go. There was an Oddish. You can see like some NASA space arm in the background. I was like, oh god, Oddish. This is the last Oddish I need. For about two weeks, I've needed one Oddish because I have like a really high CP Gloom. So I had a really high CP Oddish, evolved that into a Gloom because I wanted to like evolve that um, Oddish instead of evolving this uh, really low Gloom I had. But that's 99 candy. Transfer this one Oddish and then we can evolve our Gloom and get a Vile Plume. Oh man, I've been wanting this Vile Plume for such such a long time and the CP isn't gonna be that bad because it's a 951 Gloom so let's evolve this bad boy and see what we get Vileplume's color looks so cool that blue just kinda looks like really nicely shaded at the top Looks so awesome. I can add that vile plume to the uh, the Pokedex. Really, really happy about my vile plume. I don't know why I like it so much, but it's got a lot of room for improvement. 1,407 Razor Leaf and Solar Beam. Now that is a pretty good vile plume. When I get more Oddish Candy, 100% gonna uh, level that up a little bit because it's uh, it's pretty good. And then we have three eggs to hatch. So let's hatch our first egg. Going to get a Sand Shrew, which would have been good if I didn't have a Sand Slash, but I can always power it up or get a uh, stronger one, so, I mean, not bad, but want something that I haven't had before. Now, our next egg, and I cannot remember if these are 5k or 2k. A 5k egg for a Nidoran, or female Nidoran. I'd prefer a male Nidoran because it was so close to a Nidor King, and I got a really high CP uh, Nidorino, but I also have a, a high CP Nidorina. Now we're halfway to a Nidder Queen, so either way, pretty good. Pretty good, gonna get that uh, in the end, so it doesn't really matter which one I get first. But then we're gonna execute, which uh, kind of sucks we got an Executor, but it's good for the candy because we can level up our Executor because it's a pretty high CP one. So next up, uh, we went to my favorite place to uh, play Pokemon Go. The moment I boot up Pokemon Go, we got a Beedrill, a Magikarp, a Dratini. I just want to show you this because this, this never happens. Like I boot up the game, and I walk into this. Two gyms next to me, both owned by Team Instinct, represent Team Instinct, they're the best team. But it's just like, damn, that is amazing. And Dratini as well. Like, you all know, if you watch like episode two of my Pokemon Go uh, uh, series, I found a Dratini, literally one of the first Pokemon I found. And then I found, turns out there was a Dratini nest outside my house, caught a few Dratinis. Um, like, I only spawned like one every couple of uh, hours, but it was still, it was still good. But now, since the uh, the nest changed, they don't spawn outside of my house anymore, which really sucks. And then uh, come to the lure modules and Omanyte, my first Omanyte. I did find one of the Sightons before, back when it was a tracker. But obviously, the tracking was broken, and I could not find that Omanyte for the life of me. Finally, gonna get redemption and get this one right now. I didn't record most of the Pokemon from these lure modules, but they were really, really good. Like literally the best Pokemon I've had from lures ever. Found Growlithe, Omnite, so many Magic Cups. Doesn't really matter. Little Gyarados now. Uh, there were Seals, which I'm close to Dugon. Shelters. There were some really decent Pokemon. Just really wish this Omnite was a Kabuto though, because one more Kabuto, I get a Kabutops, and that would be so good. There's a Magic Cup just here. Gonna capture that. Getting so many Magic Cups today. Like today's episode is just pretty much Magic Cup. It's supposed to be Bulbasaur focus, but I found more Magic Cups than anything. And before like. The, this episode, I found like four magic carps every, I'd say, week or so. I'll just kind of get most of them from eggs. But it's pretty awesome. Next, we're going to hatch our 10 kilometer egg. 
I thought it's going to be like an Eevee or something. My girlfriend said, you're going to get a Snorlax. I thought, I thought to myself, I'm not going to get a Snorlax. I'm going to get an Eevee. And uh, let's see what we get. I got a Snorlax and I was so happy. The Snorlax was so good. Finally got one. Because every Snorlax I've seen, they've been such trouble to beat. 1,729. That is a pretty awesome Snorlax. And I, honestly, I'm going to waste all my Stardust. I'm going to power this thing up. Because it's going to easily get over 2,000 um, CP. And it'll be really good to put in a gym. Or use to take out some gyms. And we are so close to level 24. And that is something I really want to do. I really want to get level 25. That is my goal. But we're going to hatch another egg. And this is like literally on the way back to the car. And we got a Cubone. And if you remember earlier, we hatched a Cubone. And we were so close to a Marowak. Now... We have enough candy to get a Marowak. Pretty awesome. Although, I don't like Marowak anymore. Well, I do love Marowak. I just don't like the original version. I do love the Alolan form because it looks so much better. And when I evolved this, I thought, yeah, gonna get a Marowak. I looked at it and I thought, oh, it's not the Alolan one. A little bit disappointed, to be honest. A little bit disappointed. But we still got one, so you can't complain too much. Still looks pretty awesome. Just wish it was a different color and fire on its stick, but hey, I cannot complain. And add that to the Pokedex. Not the best CP. I thought it would be a lot higher. It's only 915. But it'll have to do. It's got Mudslap and Earthquake, so I don't think I've ever seen Earthquake in play in battle. And an Earthquake in game has always been really good, so hopefully in gym battles, uh, that Marowak's Earthquake will do a lot of damage. Hopefully, do a lot of damage. So next up, we have our last 10 kilometer egg. Funny story, after I stopped recording, uh, after I hatched this egg, I found two more 10 kilometer eggs in literally like two minutes, so I was pretty happy about that. But we got an Eevee, which uh, don't really care about too much anymore. However, it's 596, not the worst, not the best, but we level 24, and I'm going to save all that Eevee candy for when Espeon Umbreon come out. Right now, basically, if I get a Pokemon that's got a Generation 2 uh, evolution, I'm just thinking, cool, I'll just uh, hold onto the candy. Won't use it, and then we'll just get a uh, Generation 2 Pokemon when it comes out. But level 24, and we need 150,000 more XP to get to uh, level 25. Such a long, long way to go, and I am looking forward to it. Level 25 is a level I want to get. I want to get level 25. I think I'm just like, cool, I don't care about leveling up. Don't know why level 25, but I just thought 25 is the level I want to be, even though it should be level 30, because pretty sure level 30 is when you start finding the highest CP Pokemon in the wild. So really, I should aim at level 30 first. But we have our 2 km egg to hatch. Hopefully we can get a starter Pokemon, or a Pikachu, or a Geodude. And we get a Bulbasaur! After catching so many Bulbasaurs, I, uh, I have that, which is great. 37 candy uh, for my Ivysaur. Getting pretty close to that Venusaur now. Well, not pretty close. We're getting, we're getting almost halfway, so happy about that. And my bag is full. So, next up, we actually have another egg to hatch. I was standing in Starbucks, and I thought, oh god, order my drink. I need to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up and hatch. And then it's a Bellsprout, which again, just like Cubone, if you remember earlier, we hatched a Bellsprout, and now we have enough candy to get a Victory Bell. Now, obviously, right now, we don't care about CP, because I've got this really high-end uh, CP Bellsprout. But we're not going to evolve that, because we have a uh, Weeping Bell. Now my Bell Sprout CP is almost higher than this uh, Weeping Bells, which is very disappointing. But we want the Victory Bell, so I guess we can start working on that um, candy for that high end Bell Sprout. But right now, add into the Pokedex, gonna get this Victory Bell. Nice, looking pretty awesome. And to be fair, for a 700 Weeping Bell, the CP for this Victory Bell isn't that bad. If you think about it, it's 1,100. And that got me thinking, if we evolve our Bellsprout, which is like 660, we should get like maybe like an 800, 900 uh, Weeping Bell. We can probably get like a, at least a 1,500 Victory Bell in the end. So I was thinking, that's pretty good. Okay, this Victory, this Electabuzz, sorry. The reason I showed this Electabuzz is I use an Incense. I had the worst Incense ever. One second left, I thought, it's fine. It spawned with one second left. I just thought... That just made the incense worthwhile. Like, I already have an Electabuzz, but I was finding Weedles, Rattataz, Pidgeys with incenses, and I thought, this is just ridiculous. This is literally the worst incense of my life. Then at the last second, Electabuzz comes and saves the day, so I thought, he deserves to be in this episode for uh, saving the day. I just can't capture this thing. It's really hard to capture. <laughs> oh, man. 
But this is pretty much going to end the episode off. We're going to hatch uh, three more eggs, which are uh, 5Ks. And um, basically going to end the episode off here. But it's been really fun uh, recording this episode. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a week's worth of footage for each episode and do a Pokemon Go episode every Friday, if you guys would be up for that. Instead of just going, like, you know, I was going to aim for like two or three episodes a week. But I thought one episode a week, a week's worth of like hatching, evolving Pokemon and stuff that will be so much better than just, you know, bits and bobs here and there. But let me know what you think uh, about that because I would love to and maybe do some more cool stuff. Because I am kind of, to be honest, running out of ideas what to do with Pokemon Go. Because it's getting to the point now, like I said before, that I'm getting near the end. Like, I'm getting all the Pokemon. Um, you know, it's, it's basically only going to be rare stuff I want to show. I don't want to keep showing the same thing over and over again. But we'll see. Hopefully Generation 2 comes out soon. So we can, you know, bring this like life back into the game. Bring life back into the series. Because after this episode, honestly... I'll tell you now, this episode was recorded a couple of days ago and I've got no extra footage, even though I've been playing every day. I just can't find anything worth showing. But uh, I'll try. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.